I found drugs uh, at a pretty young age. I, my first drug was uh, this chemical my dad kept in the garage. It was like an engine cleaner. And it was this inhalant that was unbelievably powerful. I felt like it was just because I wanted to have fun, but in retrospect, I feel like it was because I needed to escape. My dad could be unreasonable and, and at times brutal. My mom as well. And I, uh, found that escape as uh, a way not to really care about anything. As I got older, my, my using got much more like out social and I got myself into the club business, which was uh, a perfect place for an addict. There, it was kind of like being in a candy store for real because I had all the alcohol that I wanted at my fingertips and then I had all the cocaine and ecstasy that I wanted because everybody wanted to be my friend because I was, I ran the club. Kept on going full steam ahead until I, you know, completely ruined the business. I basically, I, I say that I sucked it up my nose, which I pretty much did. I then did a geographic, came to California, and the first day I got here, uh, I went to a big party and immediately scoped out the cocaine dealer. And it was on, you know, my whole time here. I had a, a great opportunity, you know, to do art direction. I was much more interested in partying and making sure that I had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to do cocaine all night. It made me sort of take stock and look at myself and go, oh, wait a minute, you need to do something different. And it was pretty good for a little while. I stayed clean for, you know, about two years. And I was seeing a therapist and I told my therapist one day, you know what, I think I could smoke some weed. And within 24, 36 hours or so, I had a needle in my arm again. And that uh, started another, basically about a 10 year run. I always cleaned up everything around me right before I used, thinking, okay, if they find me dead on the ground, I want everything to be nice and neat and put away. So that's what I would do. I cleaned up, cleaned up my space around me and I would do my, my drug. And I would think to myself, okay, is this the time that I'm gonna fall over and die? And I would push the limits because I really kind of wanted to. And, uh, I never did die. When I got sober, you know, within a very short time, I started to feel like joy again, and I started to feel happy, and, and I was more fun, I'm sure, to be around. <laughs> Probably smiled a lot more, and uh, didn't have that, that desperate, depressed feeling going on. Before Clean had even opened, I met our CEO, Andrew, uh, socially, somebody, a friend of mine said, I really want you to meet this guy. I think you're really going to like him because I kind of talked about kind of wanting to work in recovery, but I had no idea what that even meant at the time. So I met Andrew and we, you know, had a great conversation. It was, you know, nice meeting and everything. And he said, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of in between things right now. I don't really have anything like going on right now, but I'm working on something. A few months, three, four months or something like that. I got a call and it was it was either Andrew or someone else that was calling for him, asking, hey, are you still interested in working with us? We got something, we're starting something here, and are you interested? And I was like, yes, definitely. i done pretty much everything, except for uh, I'm not a therapist. But everything else, uh, uh, for the most part, I've done. I, I uh, you know, did intake and admissions and operations, and I've teched, and, and, uh, and now I do admissions. Again, I'm director of admissions for all the treatment centers that we have.